everybody welcome back to my youtube channel or welcome to my channel if you're new anyway lucas and i did go to the library today it was tons of fun we haven't been there probably in two or three months because we've all been sick and we didn't want to spread it and we didn't want to get it back again so now we are mostly healthy so we went back to the library today um it wasn't too busy there wasn't a lot of kids there um which is which is fine um <clears throat> But it was still a ton of fun for both of us. Um, like, I didn't even look at the books for me. I just hung out with Lucas the entire time, um, which was awesome. Um, so I'm going to kind of give you reasons why going to the library is one of the best things that you can do with your child. Based off of my library. Um, libraries are different, obviously. Uh, some libraries are going to offer more than mine. Some libraries are going to offer less. Um, this video is based off of my library. I love my library. Like, okay, so my library doesn't have, like, a huge selection of books compared to ones I've been to before. Um, but they just, they just have so much kid-friendly, toddler-friendly, actually. Um, and even baby-friendly. Like, they just, they have so much, um, for the kiddos. <clears throat> so, it is extremely important for you to introduce reading to your children at a young age. It helps with their talking and listening skills and learning skills and all of that. Also, like, recognition. Um, I've already noticed, like, some stuff that we read about in books, um, like dinosaurs and lions and stuff. Lucas knew what those were when I got him toys because of the books that we read. So taking your child to the library forms a better love of reading. Like the base of your love of reading is gonna start with you um, and then taking them to the library just builds that love. Just because they can go to the library, they can pick out their own books, um, they can see other kids reading, they can see other kids picking out books. Um, it just, it makes reading fun for them. It also gives your chance, your kids a chance to be social with other kids, especially being a stay-at-home mom. It can be kind of tough getting your kids out, um, out of the house to see other kids if they're the only child. Like with our family, Lucas is the only child. I am a stay-at-home mom. We don't really get out very much. Um, we go to the library. We go to the parks when we can. Um, I've taken him to, like, the mall play place just as a different, different scenery and different environment, I suppose. So, the, going to the library is also a great foundation to getting your kids to learn to share. Um, <clears throat> Lucas, being the only child, he doesn't have to share with anybody. Um, yes, we do try to teach him the best we can with the resources that we have at home, but going to the library, he knows that those toys are not his, so he cannot, like, he has to share them. He can't be like, no, I don't want you to play with my toy right now. Number four, it's just a different environment, a different place. Just because we have a train table at home, the library has a train table there, it's a different environment, so it's fun all over again, even though he does get bored with his train table at home. When he goes to the library, he goes straight to the train table, as you will see. Um, also, there's, like, new toys as well. Like, they have a light table with, like, magnetic um, squares and triangles and stuff that you can, like, build a house with. They have, like, um, Duplos. They have um, puppets. I was going to say Muppets. Why was Puppets. Um... And then they also have, um, like, like a setup type thing. It kind of looks like, like it's a shelf and then it's got like a canopy. And before they had it as like a veterinarian's office. And then this time when we went back, it was like a grocery store. So they change that up all the time. So he's got a lot of different environments and he's learning a lot of different things from them changing that. And the best part, it's free. It's free. Unless you don't return your books on time, then you do have to pay a tiny fee, 
but it is free. I love that I can expose Lucas to that kind of stuff because it's just cool. It's cool to see his reaction and everything. So we got tons of books as well, obviously. We got Itsy Bitsy Snowman, and a Cars one, and a Magic Tree House, and a Llama Llama one. And then I did get this one just because I want Michael to read it to Lucas. And then we just got some other Christmas books, um, a Christmas Story one, a Star Wars one, and then uh, Toyland Express, Can You See What I See? It's kind of like an I Spy book. Any I Spies or Can You See What I Can See? I definitely recommend those because it's a great recognition learning activity that you guys can do together. Yeah, top five reasons why you need to take your children to the library. Um, yeah, if you need any book recommendations or if you want to know everything that was in my book haul, um, I'll go ahead and put my book haul actually down in the description. Otherwise, leave a comment if you have any questions or if you want to share your opinion on why going to the library is a great idea as well. Or maybe even tell me what your library offers. I would love to know that. Um, also, hit that subscribe button because I plan on doing more videos like this in the future and I don't want you to miss out. So hit that subscribe button so you don't. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye! the train? Yeah. What else did you do? Did you play with Legos? Yeah. Did you meet a new friend? Yeah. Did you play a cool ice cream Lego game? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> um, what else did we do? Did we play grocery store? And then we got tons of books. Did you have lots of fun? Do you want to go back? Okay. Um, should we go home and get a snack? And then go night night? Yeah. Are you tired? Yeah. <laughs> Do you just say yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay.